you. So, Jerome, uh, I guess from now on, we'll, we'll there be a head on the swivel to make sure that both the teammates have helmets on. <laughs> Man, um, just that whole situation was uh, it was crazy, you know. Um, Come out the field, you know, scoring touchdown, man. You know, excited, you know. Um, man, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm a, you know, it's, it's, it's an emotional game, you know. It's exciting, uh, you know, emotions are flying. Um, man, I saw Mincy, excited to see Mincy. Uh, man, did not know he had a helmet on. He didn't have a helmet on, so uh, clearly. But, uh, man, I apologize after all. I felt so bad. Uh, but, man, you know, he's a tough guy. So, uh, man, he took it, <laughs> he took it pretty well. So, I'm um, glad, glad he's not hurt. So, it's good. Man, Darnell is uh, man. He's a special player. Uh, just the ability he has, man. He's a very big guy, man. Can move so well, man. He's like a big dancing bear. Um, you know, just man. Uh, a lot of the things too is like mentally things. Uh, just he has improved on this year, um, as well as just knowing knowing the guys he's rushing against, like a film study, uh, really deep diving into the guys he's going against, man, and uh, man getting a good jump on him. So uh, I think he's I think he's having a great year so far, and he's gonna continue to have a great year for us. So. Coach Hap and the players have talked about like turning hope into belief this year, right? That started in the offseason, uh, like Amari was saying. But winning big games has to have something to do with that, right? The beating Alabama, winning at LSU. What part does that have in making that belief real? Um, you know, kind of back off of like um, Big O. Like it, it's, it starts in the offseason. Uh, you know, and that was that was like our big thing going into the offseason. That's the big thing, Coach Hypo preached about, man, expecting to win. Um, you know, because at the end of man's games, man, you go you, you play in the SEC. Like you're gonna play tough you're gonna play tough teams, you're gonna play ranked teams, you're gonna play, you know what I'm saying, teams that are gonna be high rankly. And so man, just going in there, it's all about your preparation, it's all about your work ethic. And um, all your preparation, man, when when things don't go right, when you face adversity, you lean back on the preparation that you um, that you put in, you set forth. So as um, long as our preparation and our, our preparation is good, we'll be fine. So uh, that's kind of what we preach, you know, here. So. No, Ben, and then Mike. Drum, uh, you've played center before too, so you can speak to this. Can you talk about how important Cooper is to make sure you guys operate at the speed that you do in addition to Hamden and everybody else? Definitely, he's uh, very important, uh, man. Center sets the, he's re he really sets the tempo, honestly, uh, man. Setting the tempo, got to get the call out. And man, then after that, it's rock and rolling. So uh, Cooper is very, very huge for our offense. Um, you know, make sure uh, he gets us lined up right. Make, and also make sure keeping us four together as well. You know, he's he's a he's a middle piece of us. So uh, man, he's been doing a great job at that, of course. Um, so and he's gonna continue to do that as well. Mike, Jerome, but just kind of a ten thousand foot question for you. I mean, you were recruited as far back as Butch Jones, committed to Jeremy, stayed through all that, mm -hmm. and you know, here five years later. Put into perspective that journey. I mean, he visited UC. He's been pretty much everywhere all over the country. Yeah. Up, and you put all that into perspective. Uh, man, it's crazy. You know, um, when I first got here, um, man, it wasn't like this. You know, um, and and that's fine. You know, and I uh, I knew what I was coming into. Uh, I knew what I was. Uh, I knew what I was going to get myself into as well. So, but uh, man, just excited to see how this program has changed around. Excited to see. Uh, man, the players in the locker room just like buying in, you know, because uh, it wasn't like that uh, before. But man, as we move forward, man, it's, it's it got to continue to be that, and uh, it's, it's going to continue to be that. And um, you know, man, it's just it's just about trusting the process. You know, you can't really can't focus on what the outside noise, what everybody's talking about, man. You got to worry about your guys, your building the inner circle within this building right here. So, uh, and that's. That's why we're having the success we're having now, man. It's the guys are trusting us and believing in us, and that's, that's all that matters. We'll go to Mark, and then we'll go to Patrick. From the, the tempo um, that you guys work under is obviously something that defensive line we're not used to seeing. From where you sit, you've got a different perspective in the game because you're hearing things that are said from the defensive line. Are there any – you could share with, with us essentially a uh, – defensive linemen, the, the way they're feeling, the way they're reacting, the things that they're saying when they realize you're going faster than what they're used to? Mm. Uh, I will not necessarily say they're saying anything because, man, we're going so fast. But uh, you can definitely tell about body language. Uh, body language says a lot. You know, you don't have to say it wherever you can see it. Um, but, 
man, you see hands on your hips, you see them, man, tr man, just trying to gasp for air. Uh, man, they, you get excited as office line standpoint, you know, and man, because it's, it's time to rock and roll. We're going to keep rolling. So um, we, I mean, we love it. You know, we, love, we try to push it even faster when you see it. So uh, as well as it, I mean, it helps, it helps the whole offense out, you know, uh, helps the whole picture out. Uh, clean looks, got guys running free, you know, uh, that's, that's what you want, you know. So, uh, man, make it easier than what it is, man, because scoring touchdowns are hard. Man, playing offense, playing offense in, in, in the SEC, man, playing in the teams we play, man, it's, it's tough. And so, man, anytime you get a chance to score, man, it's, it's exciting, man. Uh, you go root to success and go out there and celebrate your guys. So, All right, we'll do a few more. We'll do Patrick, Vince, uh, Mike, and then Paige. Jerome, a couple things. First, with, with Hendon, what do you recall maybe your first impressions of Hendon? And how did you kind of see him grow out of the shell over the, over the last year and a half? And then uh, Taylor Wright had a couple big runs in the game the other night. What was, what was it like watching mm -hmm. that during the game and going back on film and seeing him do that? Yeah. Uh, First question, uh, man. Man, Hendon first got here. Uh, man, you can tell he, he's a, he's a natural leader. Um, you know, just it wasn't as vocal as like you know as the as you would want. But man, he was he was a leader. You saw all the ability. You saw the qualities of a leader in him. Um, and just seeing it, just keep de developing, keep elevating as a, uh, as his journey moves on here at Tennessee. Man, it's it's amazing to see. Uh, like I say all the time, man, he's an exciting player to watch. Man, you know, and I got to get out of that. Like, man, gotta go, man, block for this guy. But man, just seeing him do that, seeing him like lead the whole team, see like see the guys like man, their eyes light up when they see him talk, man. Cause man, what he says, man, you, you gonna listen to him. So uh, man, it's, it's just it's great to see. Man, he's a great leader, he's a great player, and an even better person off the field, man. We love him, and so uh, he's gonna continue to be that for us, man. He, and man, we love him. Um, your second question for Jay Wright, man. Jay Wright had a great game against Kentucky. Uh, man, ran really hard, ran behind his pads. Um, Man, just seeing the growth from him, you know, um, you know, struggled before, has had some struggles early in the season, even last year, and man, just seeing him to continue to develop and grow as a player, man, it's it's, it's beautiful, you know. Uh, man, seeing the running backs run, man, especially him, man, he has a, he had a lot of big runs, tough runs, man. So uh, that's exciting, man. We love it up front, so yeah, he go, he go, he's gonna keep it up. So can't wait. Uh, man, huge challenge, you know. Uh, Georgia is, is, man, a great team. Uh, very well up front, plays very well, play, they play violent and physical up front, uh, as well as the, uh, man, the guys behind them, linebackers are, pretty, are really good, and as well in the back end. Um, typically what you see from, from Georgia, man, they're, they're a great team, great, great defensively team as well. Um, so uh, with us, is, man, the plan doesn't change, man. You just got to keep, yeah, keep, keep us being us, you know. We have to worry about us. And keep us. We have to have us keep being better and keep improving and honing on details and um, things like that. Man, we'll be fine. So, Mike, when you talk about wearing out these defenses, and my mind goes to what did you guys do to get in this kind of condition? I mean, you're some big dudes too. And, and when Josh first came with that plan that you're going to play this lightning offense, how, how do you get all the buy-in? I mean, there had to be days when you're wondering why you were running that much in condition like that. Man, definitely. Um, man, first time he. We installed it. We was. I was like, man, what did I get myself into? Because um, <laughs> you know, you know, you used to huddling up and uh, you know, at, just playing at a solo pace, you know. Uh, but man, uh, got to give all the shout outs and all the credit to strength and uh, strength and conditioning staff. Uh, man, they got they get us ready every every off season to prepare for this uh, playing this offense. You know, um, just by the, um, you know the runs we do, the, the way we live, you know, it's, it's all predicated of how we play. And so, uh, man, it helps us out a lot. As well as, you know, um, like I said, the way we coach it, the way they coach it, the way they uh, help us out a lot. And, you know, as you play, as you get further in this offense, you see, like, you, you start to pick on things and, like, let's see, okay, I can, I can, you know, I see where how I can start tracking the ball, start, you know, start getting a, a beat on the defenders, like, where they're still playing and running and stuff. Man, offensive line is still trying to push up, push up, you know, and they don't, people don't really see that. So, man, um, that helps out a lot, too. So you start, start learning, like, little codes to it. So it's good. Very excited, very excited. You know, you're in the ACC, you're going, uh, every time you play in a row, it's going to be a tough environment in this conference. Um, but man, it's really excited to go down there and play. Uh, all the guys are, man, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, so we're, we're excited. Um, but still got to keep a, got to keep a level head, got to keep, uh, remain focused, man. Uh, even with all the distractions, like I said, from the crowd, 
Um, it shouldn't play any factor to us, man. We should we should be still good, still mentally focused and mentally locked in, and um, man, be ready to play. So, be excited. Thanks, Ron.